welcome to our news program coming to you live from the VES Media Center. I hope you enjoyed the sunny weekend. I'm Martin. I'm Anika. We're from Miss Holmes' class. Today is Monday, April 14th, 2014. It's a day three. This character education thought of the day is, if you sometimes lie, no one will believe you when you tell the truth. And now to Martin at our weather center. Today is going to be partly sunny. The current temperature is 64 degrees, the high temperature of 78 degrees, and a low temperature of 58 degrees. Tomorrow we can expect thunderstorms, but the high will be 65 and the low will be 30. Looking at the radar, we see mostly clear skies for day. There will be outdoor recess. Thanks, Martin. If you look up at the night, night sky tonight, here's what the moon will look like. We have ourselves a full moon. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen today. Grilled cheese on whole wheat bread. And don't forget your sides and veggies. Tomato soup and green peas. At this time, please stand as we honor our country the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Just a reminder that today is a day three. It is also a school spirit day. It's where would you rather be wear a destination t-shirt. Talk to your friends about a past trip or an upcoming trip. Tomorrow is a day five and another school spirit day. Wear your team color. VS is going to be one colorful place tomorrow. As I am sure you already know that we have a short spring break coming up the week. Enjoy your five day weekend. On this day in history. In 1865, President Abraham Lincoln was shot by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. President Lincoln died later the next morning. Washington, D.C. is a wonderful place to visit with lots of history. Put it on your list of things to do. Ford's Theater is still there, so you should, you sh can pay to visit as well. There will be a total lunar eclipse tonight. The next one will not take place until 2019. Let's take a short let's take a short look at a short video from the Weather Channel about the eclipse. It turns out if you're looking forward to the April 15th lunar eclipse and you live in North America, you're in just the right place for the perfect possible view. According to NASA, because the Earth's western hemisphere will look toward the moon during the eclipse, North America will be in a great spot to witness the phenomenon. Even better, the eclipse will occur when the entire continent is dark. Even though lunar eclipses occur multiple times a year, an eclipse that provides a show for all of North America won't happen again until the year 2019, making this one very rare. So if you live on the East Coast and if the weather conditions are right, set your alarm. NASA says starting at 2 a.m. you'll be able to witness several changes during the event, including the penumbra, which is the partial shadow, and the umbra, which is the full shadow. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel. If you think that is cool, what do you think of a More about that tomorrow. For the VS News Network, this is Martin signing off. And Danica signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another edition of the VS News. Have a marvelous Monday. Enjoy your short week. Remember, Blazer says, says be your best, best at VES.